Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I'm here today to teach you just a very, very basic, basic, basic cookie cutter design that you can 3D print with Tinkercad. The goal of this instruction set is just to show you the simple layout in terms of how to make a cookie cutter with the goal and the hopes that you will turn around and design your very own using your own imagination, your own creativity to bring your own ideas to life. But let's jump in here and see actually how we do some just simple creation to get you started. And so if you haven't created a Tinkercad account, you need to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to walk you through that step. But once you're into your Tinkercad account at Tinkercad.com, you're going to go right here to create new design. And you're going to get your work plane is going to pop up here. And what we're going to be doing is just using a simple star pattern just because that's one that um, is a pretty staple um, cookie cutter design. And so over here in these basic shapes, you've got lots of things that you could use when you're going to go start off and design your own. Uh, but we're going to switch this down here to symbols. And in symbols, if we scroll down, you're actually going to see the star. And we're just going to go ahead and drag that star over here to the plane area for us to work. And a couple of things with Tinkercad. you got these white dots. you got this little kind of like, uh, I always call it like the, the Hershey Kiss that you can raise and lower your, your star. We're just going to click here in the corner. And when we do that, we get these dimensions. And now remember, these are in millimeters here. Um, and we want to get just a, a, a pretty standard size cookie cutter. You can make this any size that you want. But for the sake of this one, we're going to go ahead and just drag this out to just roughly about uh, 76 by 72 um, millimeters. And we want to keep the star shape um, proportional. So we're going to hold shift down when we click this corner. And we're just going to drag this out until we get to roughly, you know, around that size. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just uh, the basic shape there. And this is actually going to be the base of the cookie cutter. This is going to kind of give you like the, the handle, so to speak. And so we're going to click right here, right in the middle of the star. And you can see right now it's about 20, 20 millimeters tall. And so we're just going to jump over here. And we're just going to make that two. And it's going to flatten that bad boy out. Now, we're going to need a couple copies of this. So once we have this, I'm on a Mac. You would use uh, Control, but I'm going to use Command um, and Command D. And I'm going to hit that two times, and it's going to make two duplicates. So D is for duplicate. So now i got three of the exact same stars that I can use. And here's what's going to happen. The very first one that we just made at that size, we're actually just going to make this roughly about four millimeters larger. This is just going to kind of give it a nice ridge um, for us to use. And you can make, you can adjust these numbers. These aren't precise science measures, just enough for the, the 3D printer to be able to print and for you to work. And so once again, I'm just going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag this out to right about there. So that one's going to be good to go. We're going to keep that at a two millimeter height. The second star, we're actually going to keep at the current dimensions that it's at, but we're going to raise this up. This is what's going to kind of give us the lip to make the, the, the cookie groove. And so I'm going to actually adjust this to about 15. Um, that's about a standard height of a cookie cutter. Um, it's not exact science, as I've said several times, but at least gives you an idea there. And then um, the last thing that we're going to do we're going to make this guy a little bit smaller. This is what's going to kind of give us the ridge. And so we're going to hold down shift. And we're just going to bring this in about two or three millimeters. So I'm going to just bring this guy in right about there. And I'm going to make his, the height here of this bad boy about 20. I want it a little bit taller. And what we're going to do with this one is we're actually going to make this the hole. So it's going to be invisible. This is going to give us the, the cookie cutter cutout, so to speak. Once we've got that, we're then going to just select all of these guys, just like this. And we're going to go up here to this align tool right here. And we get these dots. And so we're going to align them on this plane. And then again on this plane. And now you can see that they're all perfectly lined and proportional, which is great. All right. Now, in order to actually see what it looks like, we're going to go ahead and select all these again. And we're going to group them. This is going to make it all one complete object. And boom, just like that, we got ourselves a cookie cutter. So now our next step 
is to print and then use and then eat. So there it is. Super simple cookie cutter design. I'm just going to call this star cookie cutter template. And my goal for you then is to share this. Let me see what your creations are. I would love to see what you make besides the star. I would love to see your star. I would love to see the cookies that you eat and decorate, all that good stuff. And so feel free to reach out and share. But that is the simplest way to create a cookie cutter design. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you think, thoughts, questions, ideas, and concerns. And we will keep rocking and rolling, making more intricate cookie cutter designs here in future classes. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.